So something I see talked about a lot lately that, or maybe I just never really noticed it being talked about lately, is this idea of victim blaming and specifically people kind of railing against victim blaming and this whole discussion about like how you should react to finding out that something bad happened to somebody and like, um, I think it's, this is one of those topics that's really divisive and it seems like people have a lot of strong opinions about it and I think there's been like this big push against the whole idea of it and then there's been this big backlash against that and I feel like both sides are kind of just yelling at imaginary versions of each other at this point. It's just another one of those big hot button issues that's just just no one's really listening to each other but everybody has an opinion and I feel like I'm kind of in the middle just looking at everyone and being like you're all crazy everybody in this argument is insane like it's I mean so here's an example of what I'm talking about like if your house or if somebody you know their house they get robbed their house is broken into all their stuff is stolen and then you find out that they just don't lock their doors. That, so it was really easy for somebody to rob them. So victim blaming would be going to them and being like, well, you shouldn't have left your doors unlocked. It's your fault that you got robbed. And then the other uh, approach would be, well, the criminal is the person who stole your things is the one breaking the law. They are the criminal. They are at fault. And I tend to side with that side when it comes to just like assigning blame like it is the criminal's fault the, the the person who took your stuff the person who broke the law like that's that's illegal it's not illegal to leave your doors unlocked you should be able to leave them unlocked you should be able to just leave your stuff all over your front lawn and just say this is mine don't take it and it should be fine you shouldn't have to worry about that but you know people are crappy so you do and, but here's the other side of it. I think when people say, like, don't leave your doors unlocked because then people will steal your stuff, they're not trying to victim blame. They're not trying to say, you did the wrong thing here. The criminal was totally understandable. It's totally fine to steal someone's stuff if they leave their door unlocked. You're the idiot who left your doors unlocked. You did a bad thing. Like, that's not what they're trying to say, usually. They're trying to say, just don't, do, you know, they're just trying to be helpful. And I think there's also another side of it where you're trying to, uh, you when you hear something bad happens to somebody, you try, your brain kind of just automatically tries to find a way to make you not have to worry about that happening to you. You want to be like, oh, well that happened to them because they did this stupid thing that I don't do. You know, their house got broken into because they made it easy, they don't have a burglar alarm, and I do, you know, um, or any kind of crime, anything like that. You want to feel like you are doing it right, and you are not, that's not going to happen to you. And so then it's kind of crappy to push that onto this, this person where something bad just happened to them, and just to make yourself feel better. But I think almost all the time when people are saying this, they're just, you can give someone advice, for how to avoid being the victim of a crime in the future uh, without it being like, hey, it's your fault this happened. And if everybody's just a little more understanding of each side here, there's no reason this should be like a big argument. Now, I do think when it comes to things like rape cases, uh, where of like a, a lot of time the defense is like, well, what was she wearing? or like, you know, things like that, then that's, that's just gross. That's just stupid. Like, it's not, it's never the victim's fault they got raped. That's crazy. But, you know, this, this applies to so many things, and it's just, I, just, just listen to each other. Just give each other the benefit of the doubt here, and just listen to each other. It's gonna be okay. And that is my weird, serious vlog. That's a vase, by the way. It's not a bong. I just realized that's in the shot. Everybody who sees it is like, what, do you just have a bong just here, just on your end table? That's weird. <laughs> no, just a vase, but I made it. It's pretty, right? And a puppy calendar. This is Jack's room, by the way. Hmm, all right.